This year has started out exceptionally strong for game releases, and that continues in April with a great lineup of titles, and in this video, we'll be going over the top 10 games releasing in April 2017. Let's get right into this. Number 10, The Silver Case on PS4. The Silver Case is an adventure visual novel that was originally released in 1999. The historical significance of the title was that it was the first game by Grasshopper, and it was directed, designed, and co-written by Gochi Suda, better known as Suda51. The game is set in a contemporary Japan where a series of murders occur and the mysteries are revealed as the story plays out. The game comes to PS4 on April 18th. Number 9, Drawn to Death. Drawn to Death is a third-person multiplayer shooter combined with an arena brawler. It pits four players in an arena shooter-style setting inside pages of a teenager's notebook and features a very unique hand-drawn art style. The game is being directed by David Jaffe, who is best known for his work on Twisted Metal and God of War. Drawn to Death releases exclusively to the PS4 on April 4th. Snap it up, you stupid fucking baby! You know, setting the game in the notebook at, at, at a surface just gives us unbridled creativity. Any level we can think of, any weapon, any character basically has a home in this game. The idea for us is it's, it's a four-player max shooter brawler. And the reason is if you look at games that you can really get your head around the competition, knowing their tactics, knowing what they're doing, knowing their position on the battlefield, it's less about dropping you into sort of just a chaotic blender of action. Number 8, Little Nightmares. Little Nightmares is a puzzle platformer where you play as a young girl named Six who is kidnapped and taken to work in the Maw, an underwater resort catering to the powerful elite. You take Six on a journey for a chance at freedom. Artistically, the game is very appealing and this has potential to be one of the sleeper hits of the year. Little Nightmare releases on April 28th for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Number 7, Dragon Quest Heroes 2. The first Dragon Quest Heroes game was a good Dynasty Warrior style game. For those that don't know, those are hack and slash games where you fight hundreds upon hundreds of enemies at a single time. They always get a bit repetitive, but are fun games nonetheless. And the Dragon Quest skin definitely adds something. This sequel features many gameplay refinements, however, if these games have never appealed to you, this probably won't win you over. Dragon Quest Heroes 2 releases on PS4 and PC on April 25th. Dominate the battlefield with a massive selection of weapons. Warrior, Holy Priest, Devious Thief, and more. Each vocation plays a unique role in conquering the ever-changing battlefield. But whatever role you choose, you needn't face the fight alone. That's why up to four players can partner up online for cooperative play. You'll need all the help you can get to tackle the especially difficult boss raids and reap the many rewards from dimensional dungeons. So gear up and sharpen your sword! Number 6, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Mario Kart 8 was one of the great games released on the Wii U. It was the pinnacle of the kart racing series, and now it comes to the Nintendo Switch in the form of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This version will obviously feature the base game along with all of the downloadable content, as well as additional power-ups and five more playable characters. Mario Kart 8 is a terrific game, and now on the Switch, it should only be better. It releases on April 28th. Number 5, Ukulele. Ukulele has been one of the most anticipated Kickstarter games. It's being developed by Playtonic Games, a studio that includes many of the designers that worked on Banjo-Kazooie. Ukulele follows a similar premise where you play as a male chameleon Yuka and a bat Laylee who are contrasting characters that have to work together. Traditional platformers of this style are somewhat of a dying art, so it'll be nice to see Ukulele out on April 11th for PC, PS4, and Xbox One.
Number 4, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. The latest in the Sniper Ghost Warrior series will be doing what a lot of series have done this generation, and that's move to an open world setting. The world of the game can be freely explored, and there's different activities and side missions to embark on. You'll also have a car that'll get you from point to point faster. The game takes place in a modern day with a series of conflicts between three factions. You play as an American Marine who is on the hunt to find an intruder who he shares a pass with. Open world games are abundant these days, so this one may fall a bit under the radar. Just keep an eye on it if you're interested in the franchise. It releases on April 25th for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Number 3, Outlast 2. Outlast was one of the few survival horror games of the last few years that actually embodied survival horror, and now we have the sequel in Outlast 2, which is gonna follow in its footsteps. The game's set in a desert at night, and you play as a freelance journalist who is unable to fight and can only defend, hide, crouch, run, jump, walk, very similar to what you could do in the first game. You do have an advanced camera in possession, which will offer clearer footage, zoom, and audio detection. Expect Outlast 2 to be another great horror game, and releases on April 25th for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Number 2, Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 3. After 6 years, the first entry in the Dawn of War series is finally here with Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 3, an RTS that will feature elements from the previous two games. The game returns to the traditional RTS base building and it will feature larger scale walker units, Imperial Knights, Wraith Knights, and Gorkonauts. Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 3 releases on April 27th exclusively for PC. Finally, number one, Persona 5. After over eight years, finally, a new mainline entry in the Persona series will be released with Persona 5. Once again, the game will follow a similar premise to previous games. You play as a silent protagonist who transfers to a new high school. Part of the game is a great dungeon-crawling JRPG where you'll have to harness the powers of various Personas, essentially mature Pokemon. It does that part really well, but the other section of the game has you living the day-to-day -day life of a high school student attending class, socializing, joining clubs, etc. It sounds zany on the surface, but these two elements blend really well and keeps the game engaged at all times and not repetitive, and that's very important considering these games can go for as long as 100 hours. If you've never played Persona, it's time to do so with Persona 5. It releases on April 4th for PS3 and PS4. I wish to pursue beauty like this. Taste the wrath of those who are preyed upon by you! What's the answer? Come to me! What the hell? How come you suck? We can do this if we all work together! I'd rather that than be bad at every subject! It's not just Japan anymore. The whole world's waiting to see the Phantom Thieves' next move. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 games coming in April 2017. What do you think? Which games are you the most excited for in April? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.